Good evening. This is Shabashachi Vatacharya with Regional News. Government today convened an all-party meeting ahead of the budget session of Parliament in Delhi. During the meeting, the government sought cooperation from all political parties to ensure the smooth functioning of both the houses of Parliament. Indian Ministers Rajnath Singh, Kiran Rijiju, Arjun Ram Meghwal, J.P. Nadda, Chirak Paswan, Ramdas Athawale, and Congress leaders Jairam Ramesh and Gaurav Gugoi, NCP leader Praful Patel, DMK leaders Tier Balu and Tiruchi Siva, Am Admi Party leader Sanjay Singh, AIMIM MP Asaduddin Waisi were among those who attended the meeting. Guru Purnima, also known as Bias Purnima, is celebrated today across the country, honoring spiritual and academic teachers. On this day, people express gratitude to their gurus for their wisdom and guidance. It also commemorates Lord Buddha's first sermon after enlightenment given in Sarnath on the full moon day. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in a social media post, has also extended his greetings to the nation. This festival, falling on the full moon day of Ashara month also marks the birth anniversary of Sage Ved Vyasa. The government of Arunachal Pradesh and the Arunachal Pradesh Football Association APFA received special recognition at the AIFF Awards 2024 in New Delhi on Friday. The award honored their successful organization of the 77th Shantosh Trophy 2023-24 held in Eupia. APFS Secretary Kipaja accepted the award from AIFF Vice President N.A. Harris. The APFA has also expressed gratitude to Chief Minister Pima Khandu, the government of Natya Pradesh, and all involved for their support in hosting the prestigious football championship. Former PWD Minister Talamungli was laid to rest with full state honours. At his Iyada Raga residence on Saturday, the state government declared a one-day morning, closing all government and educational institutions as well as markets in Kamle district. Mungli was respected for his leadership within the Nishi community. He passed away on Thursday after a prolonged illness. He was 67 and is survived by two wives, nine children and 17 grandchildren. The chief of police station team under the supervision of SP Rohit Rajbir Singh on Saturday conducted a surprise inspection of shops selling tobacco near schools including BKB, Sangeladin Sports Academy and KV No. 2. The Chimpu PS team seized various tobacco products from these establishments. Meanwhile, Capital Itanagar Deputy Commissioner Talaputam, who also joined the raid, warned that repeated offenders will face legal action under the Cigarettes and Other Tobacco Products Act, Kotpa. The operation aims to ensure a healthier environment for school children with plans for intensified future rates to enforce compliance. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today in a social media post has expressed pride that India has come forth in its best ever performance in the International Maths Olympiad. Mr. Modi said that the contingent has brought home four gold and one silver medal. He stated that this feat will inspire several other youngsters and help make mathematics even more popular. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today in a social media post has extended birthday wishes to Congress President and Leader of the Opposition in the Rajya Sabha, Mallikarjun Kharge. Mr. Modi in his post prayed for Mr. Kharge's long and healthy life. The Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, has arrested three more persons in connection with the neat UG paper leak case. Of them, two arrested persons are medical students of Bharatpur Medical College in Rajasthan. Sources added that the technical surveillance has confirmed their presence in Hazaribagh of Jharkhand on the day of neat UG examination on the 5th of May. The third arrested person is an all-rounder who was providing all kinds of support to the kingpin. The Bombay High Court has directed social media intermediaries to take prompt action against defect videos of national stock exchanges, NSE managing director and CEO giving stock recommendations. Justice R.I. Chagla directed these platforms to remove accounts infringing on NSE's trademark and to submit affidavits detailing such accounts within three weeks. The case will be reviewed again on August 19. In the Women's Asia Cup T20 cricket, India faced their way to the semi-finals with second consecutive win in as many matches. India thrashed UAE by 78 rounds in the crucial 
crucial Group A match played at Rangiri Dambula International Stadium in Sri Lanka. Put into bat, India amassed a huge score of 201 for 5, breaching the 200 mark in T20Is for the first time. Chasing the target, you were, you were restricted to 123 for 7. Richa Ghosh was named the player of the match for his, her unbeaten knock of 64 runs of just 29 balls. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.